Hi, Penn Live garden writer George Weigel here. A lot of people are starting to wonder, are my plants really dead or not? Now, the best way is to wait and see. I've seen some years, normally by the end of May, everything that's coming back is gonna come back, but some years I've seen as late as uh, end of June, so that's the best way, just give it a little more time. But a lot of people are getting antsy and wondering if a plant like this, which is a, an American fringe tree, it's still bare. So how do you tell, is it dead or is it just still dormant? <music> Now one way you can do to check it is the bend test. Take a branch and you can see here if it, when you go to bend it, it should be flexible, pliable and bend. So even though the buds haven't poked out yet, it looks dead. It's really just dormant, but it's bending. The second test would be to scrape a little bit off of it. If you take just that same bark and you scrape a little bit, I don't know if you can see right there, but it's green, green is good. That means this branch is alive. Now let's take a look at another plant that also looks dead too. Over here I have a crepe myrtle, which uh, this one also looks pretty brown. But when I go to do the bend test, let's take one here. I go to bend it, look what happens, snap. That means pretty good chance that is dead. No pliability, it just snaps. Uh, the second thing, let me just cut a little bit off here. Uh, do the scrape test here. Scrape a little bit of bark off of that one. And you can see right there, it's nothing but brown. There's no green in that at all. So that's a pretty good indication between snapping and brown that this branch is dead. Don't be too quick to dig up something like this because even if all the top growth is brown and snapping and appears to be dead, I've seen plants like crepe myrtles, they'll push up new shoots from the roots. So you may need to cut the whole plant down eventually, but I'd give it a few more weeks. Wait until maybe toward the end of June to see if you're not getting new shoots coming up from the roots. Some plants are a little easier to tell. Good example is the hydrangea here. I've waited long enough, you can see what's alive and what's not because the buds are pushing out. That's obviously alive. There's some green leaves coming out of here. But if you look down on this stem, for example, nothing going on for there. That's dead. This bud here is dead. But down here, this is live. So I'm gonna cut right here, take the dead tip right off down to the live growth. And if you look the rest of the way too, there are some completely dead stems all around the base here. It looks like this one has no growth whatsoever. So that's a dead stem. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that one off right there. And here's another dead one where you see some growth right at the very base. So the lesson is be patient. Don't cut too quick. Don't be too quick to dig up what you think is a dead plant that's really just dormant. Give it a little more time. Look for this growth, and if you don't see anything green by maybe the end of June or so, the plant is probably gone then. Time to replace. 